Ben Beaton here. We're looking at a collaborative work that I did with Dr. Gillian Scott called Gondwana in Toowoomba. Uh, the frame for this partition work was made by Heath Pakeman. Uh, what it's about is um, a remnant rainforest in Toowoomba, Queensland uh, called the, the Boyce Gardens and uh, our project was looking at um, the the plants of that rainforest area and um, the geology that supported it in its macrocosms and microcosms um, and the, the evolutionary relationships between the plants. Uh, the curving dark blue strip featured in the first, second and fourth panel is a map of the main range. At the middle and top of the second panel and the bottom of the fourth panel we see the results of rifting between Australia and Antarctica on the ocean floor. Uh, six maps of the globe are featured across the work. Moving from left to right the six maps depict the changing face on the globe from the late Triassic period to the late Cretaceous period. At the top section of the second panel features a canopy shot of the remnant rainforest at the Boyce Gardens. So this four part screen is designed around the cladogram uh, time map or family tree for the vascular plants, um, the ferns, um, the uh, genosperms, the conifers, and the, the angiosperms, that's the flowering plants that were present in Gondwana land um, to 65 million years ago and beyond. The flowering plants include both the monocotyledonous plants, uh, for example the lily family, and the dicotyledonous plants, uh, Protasia, uh, Metasi, uh, and um, Fabaceae and Morosia. Uh, the families that were present in Gondwana land uh, with us still, still today, although, although the species may be different. So the extinct species, extent of the species from the Boyce Gardens are uh, used as examples um, of the many families present in the garden material for every family was not available um, during that time of year. Um, but we hope to potentially do another work in the future uh, at a different point of, of the year and um, basically uh, fill in those gaps. The illustrations of the various families are provided from the drawings and paintings made by both myself and Dr. Gillian Scott. Um, on screen one, at the left side, shows the ferns, um, and there's a number of families there, and the monocotyledonous plants, and there's a number of other families. If you zoom in, you'll see each one of those families. Screen two shows the older of the angiosperm families, that's the flowering plants and screen 3 shows the families which developed later so from left to right we're actually moving through time. Screen 4 shows the most recently developed families um, of those flowering plants and in our work um, you know, I'd like to acknowledge that the cladogram was provided um, by Professor T. H. Clifford and utilised by myself and Dr. Gillian Scott. You'll notice in this work the, the actual uh, cladogram itself, all of that very fine line work, um, that, was, that was all done uh, by hand. The maps are sourced from Land Beyond Time. Uh, we also received some from Dr. Mary Playford of the Queensland Museum. Um, Volcanic Earth, we used that book too by Lynn Sutherland. The Geology of Australia by David Johnson. 
um, on the trail of the dinosaurs by Dr. M. J. Benton and other maps provided by uh, Mary Playford uh, and also uh, extremely importantly Professor Edwin Willey who is a geologist who's done a lot of the geological research uh, about the Toowoomba region um, and uh, I think it's it's quite remarkable living in Toowoomba myself I've done a tour with Dr Ed Willey and uh, it's a very very uh, far more sort of aware kind of outlook of the place in which you live if you can um, learn something about the geological history of the area when we did the exhibition we actually consulted Dr. Uh, Professor um, Edwin Willey on on the map that he developed which so we actually on the floor we had the streets and we actually had in relation to the streets the volcanoes there's approximately 27 volcanoes that we know of in Toowoomba the further west you go the older they get which is interesting so um, you can see Gondwana in Toowoomba it's a uh, on my YouTube channel which documents the project and um, also related material is the uh, residency that I did at Sugarloaf Mountain Retreat uh, which is on the Darling Downs west of Toowoomba